and sleeps the night. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. This is Lampros Educational Center, representing to you narratives entitled Loud Whispers. Thank you. From the sounding horns of Africa to the corner of the Black Delta, me to the pearl of Africa, down the foot of the Cape on the south, I hear a voice calling. A voice so clear, but silent to many. A voice only an African child can note the tone. A voice silent in the wind, but loud in the mind of an African child. As it whispers a cry for humanity's sake, it's a voice of misery. Opportunity that turned to tragedy as our childhood dropped down in history. It's a voice calling out loud, but in sheer whispers. It's a voice calling out for justice and mercy for that child in the wilderness, that child with no one to reach to, the child with no shoulders to lean on, or an arm to hold through the storms of the Sahara. I raise my head high, hoping to see a shadow. I crawl to find traces of footsteps to lead me home, but I find none. My struggles of finding my path to that place I call home dims as I take my tiny footsteps towards my unknown destination, hoping to find that place I once called home. But as I listen carefully, I hear the sound of hope close to the pearl of Africa. I follow the rhythm in the African harmony, onto the land of expectations. In Kenya, deep in the land of Obusuma and Terere, as I swim down on the lakes where all riches of Mbuta and Genge are found, and my smile grows fonder as I approach the land of Matoke. I, I stand and stare at the green highlands, where my Mama fathers made my country a republic. It is then that it dawned on me that I was in my land, my motherland Kenya, a daughter to Africa. There, I found a trace of love. I found myself in the African treasure, a land full of expectations, love and hope for an African child to call home. In her arms, it felt like the home I never had, the shoulder that never was, an arm that stretched, that stretched under things that I couldn't see in the wilderness. The shelter that never became, she, she is my mother. A place a child is treasured for who they are. Hear me out, for I measure not but treasure, the place it has given me. I am a child in the wild, calling to the world to hear my cry. Listen to that cry that whispers in your ears, but loud in your conscience. Listen to that cry. Just listen to that African child's cry. For I am an African child with the cry for my health. A health I believe is my wealth. An African child is a treasure but no nation. Freedom!